Hello guys, uh, in today's video, we will see a very interesting opening in Scandinavian defense, which is also known as uh, Blackburn Gambit. So let's start. White starts with e4, now d5. Uh, this is a Scandinavian defense, e into d5. And uh, the main line here is queen into d5 or knight f6. But black can try c6 here. Uh, okay, what's the plan of c6? The main plan of c6 is if you take d into c6, then knight into c6. As you can see, black got this open file plus now this knight is active. So black is one pawn down, but black gets some compensation. Uh, still the position is obviously fine for white and uh, better for white because black just gave a free pawn, almost like free pawn on third move. So after knight into c6, white should play knight f3 and black plays e5. Uh, this is main move. If not e5, then white can simply play d4 and the center becomes too strong for white. So after knight f3, black plays e5 and uh, many of you will play d3 here to prevent e4 and uh, d3 is very natural move even I have also played d3 uh, but you can see d3 is a mistake. So instead of d3, you have to play knight c3. But why knight c3? The main reason is you are blocking your own diagonal if you play d3. So that's why knight c3 and now white defended e4 threat. So that's why it's important to play knight c3. Now knight f6 and before d3 bishop b5. Now uh, now you will say okay black got e4. So let's see what if black plays e4. We can play queen e2. Now the threat is knight into e4. Bishop d6 black can ignore uh, this pawn also knight into e4 short castle and you can see black got uh, some amazing development like this bishop is strong uh, now black's next move is knight into e4 queen into e4 and rook e8 uh, but white can easily defend this by playing bishop into c6 b into c6 knight into d6 now rook e8 is not possible because knight into e8 queen into d6 and white can just do short castle uh, now white have some easy plans like white can try d4 bishop g5 and just uh, opening every pieces uh, white can just go for exchange by playing queen e5 b3 bishop b2 is other plan rook e1 and uh, here white is just better but it's just two pawn up basically so that's why here bishop uh, sorry here e4 won't work so the main option is bishop d6 now the threat is e4 here we have to play d3, short castle, bishop into c6, b into c6, and now bishop g5, very important move. Uh, again, this knight is pinned. After bishop g5, rook b8, and instead of rook b8, black can also try bishop g4. Black can also do same plan, like white. Here, short castle, rook b8, h3, bishop h5 and now knight e4 uh, we are putting pressure on this f6 knight so bishop e7 bishop into f6 bishop into f6 rook b1 rook e8 and now rook e1 uh, absolutely this is not a theory but uh, this is the best variation which uh, white can play and after rook e1 uh, black have this double bishop but uh, this is not advantage for black uh, because white's next move is like g4 knight g3 or directly knight g3 or even white can put uh, like put slow pressure on this e5 pawn by playing queen d2 queen c3 and uh, also white is just pawn up so the position is uh, just slightly like slightly better for white uh, so that's why after bishop g5 black plays rook b8 instead of bishop g4 and now here queen c1 to defend b2 pawn also now black 
if black plays bishop g4 we can just simply go knight d2 and play knight c4 so this queen uh, is not pinned in this position uh, so here we end up our theory and this position is also uh, better for white so what do we have learned uh, the simple logic is this line is not good for black if white knows how to play and the very important move here is not to play d3 and to play knight c3 uh, so maybe you can watch uh, this variation again hope you enjoyed from this video if you enjoyed then please do like subscribe and comment on this video thanks a lot